Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about rates and proportions. And the question we have here reads, a tank has two inlet taps, P and Q, and an outlet tap, R. When empty, the tank can be filled by tap P alone in four hours or by tap Q alone in three hours. When the full tank can be emptied in two hours by tap R. Then part A, the tank is initially empty. Find how long it would take to fill up the tank. If tap R is closed and taps P and Q are opened at the same time, that is for Roman 1. Then Roman 2, if all the three taps are opened at the same time, find how long it would take to fill up the tank, that is. Then part B, the tank is initially empty and three taps are opened as follows. P at 8 a.m., Q at 8.45 a.m., and R at 9 a.m. Find the fraction of the tank that will be filled by 9 a.m., that is for Roman 1. Then Roman 2, find the time the tank will be fully filled up. Beginning with part A, the tank is initially empty. Find how long it would take to fill up the tank if tap R is closed and taps P and Q are opened at the same time. So in this question, we are told tap R is closed, P and Q will be running simultaneously. And therefore, the approach we are going to take here is we'll consider the fraction that the two taps will fill in one hour. So you say in one hour, tap P will be able to fill a quarter of the tank. I'm able to get a quarter by arguing that if four hours is required by tap P to fill the whole tank. How about one hour? So cross multiplying will have one by one over four, which is simply a quarter. So this is how I've able to get a quarter at this point. So arguing in the same way with tab Q, realize that Q fills a third of the tank in one hour. Now, we can also determine the fraction of the tank that tap R would empty in one hour, and that is 1 over 2. But you are interested in tap P and Q in this question. Now, if P and Q are left to run together in one hour, then the fraction of the tank that both of them will fill in one hour will be obtained by adding the fraction that P fills in one hour, which is a quarter, to the fraction that Q fills in one hour, that is a third. And this should give us 7 over 12. So 7 over 12 is the fraction filled by tab P and Q in one hour. But remember, we are asked to find how long it would take to fill up the tank. So if 7 over 12 is the fraction filled in one hour, how about if you are to fill the whole tank? So we say, if 7 over 12 is filled in one hour, how about the whole tank, which is 12 over 12? So that you obtain by having 12 over 12 times 1 divided by 7 over 12. And that is what we have here. And then this can also be written as 12 over 12 times 1 times 12 over 7. And this finally gives us 1 and 5 over 7 hours. Now, moving to Roman 2 of part A. If all the three tabs are opened at the same time, how long would it take to fill up the tank? Now, P, Q, and R are now left to run together. 
So we first determine the fraction of the tank that they all will fill in one hour. So that you obtain by adding the fraction that it takes P to fill in one hour to the fraction that it takes Q to fill in one hour. But because tab R was emptying, we subtract, so minus a half, which is the fraction it takes tab R to empty the tank in one hour. So when you work out this, we are going to get 1 over 12. So in one hour, all the three tabs left running will be able to fill 1 over 12 of the tank. Now, arguing in a similar manner to the way we argued in Roman 1, we will say, if 1 over 12 of the tank is filled in one hour by the three tabs left running together, how about the whole tank, which is now 12 over 12? That will be 12 over 12 times 1 divided by 1 over 12, which is also written as 12 over 12 times 1 times 12 over 1. This finally gives us 12 hours. So the three tabs opened at the same time will fill the whole tank in 12 hours. Moving to part B of the question, we are told the tank is initially empty and three taps are opened as follows, P at 8 a.m., Q at 8.45 a.m., and R at 9 a.m. Find the fraction of the tank that will be filled by 9 a.m. Now, according to the description in this part, we are told P is opened at 8 a.m. and then afterwards at 8.45 a.m. Q is opened and both will run up to 9 a.m. when R is opened. Now, P will have to take 45 minutes. That is, if it is opened at 8, then when it gets to 8.45, when Q is opened, it takes already 45 minutes, which can also be expressed as 3 over 4 hours. That is 45 over 60. And then at 8.45, both P and Q are opened. So between 8.45 and 9 a.m., we will have both P and Q running for 15 minutes. And 15 minutes can also be expressed as 1 over 4 hours, that is 15 over 60. So the next thing, we are going to determine the fraction that P fills, that is the fraction of the tank, between 8 a.m. and 8.45 a.m. So, if it takes one hour to fill a quarter of the tank, how about the three over four hours that it took the P to fill between 8 a.m. and 8.45? So, how about three over four hours? So cross multiplying will have 3 over 4 times 1 over 4, which is 3 over 16. That is 3 over 4 times 1 over 4 divided by 1. That gives us 3 over 16. So this is the fraction of the tank that tap P fills when it is opened between 8 a.m. and 8.45 a.m. Later on, at 8.45, both P and Q will be running together and therefore we'll argue again that if P and Q fails 7 over 12 of the tank in one hour, that is as we had seen earlier on. So P and Q running together in one hour failed 7 over 12 of the tank. And therefore we say if it takes 
one hour to fill seven over 12 of the tank by both tab P and Q. Then how about a quarter? That is a quarter of an hour. So cross multiplying again, we'll have a quarter by seven over 12 divided by one. And that is a quarter times seven over 12. This should give us seven over 48. Now we are going to determine the fraction filled by the two tabs between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. And that will be obtained by finding the sum of 3 over 16 and 7 over 48. And that will give us 16 over 48. 16 over 48 simplified is a third. Finally, we are asked to find the time the tank would be fully filled up. So, first, we already know the fraction that is filled by 9 a.m. and that is a third. The next thing to determine is the fraction that is remaining to be filled up and that we obtain by subtracting a third from the whole, which is one, so one minus a third, and that should give us two thirds. So two thirds is the fraction of the tank that is remaining to be filled up. So after 9 a.m., the three tabs are left to run together. So P, Q, and R are left to run together. And so, as we'd seen earlier on, if it takes the three tabs running together, 12 hours to fill the whole tank, that is P, Q, and R all running together were able to take 12 hours to fill the whole tank. And therefore, how about two-thirds of the tank? Therefore, two-thirds of the tank will take how many hours? So cross-multiplying will have two-thirds times 12 divided by 1, which is 3 over 3. And this should be 2 over 3 times 12 times 3 over 3. This should give us 8 hours. Now, after 9 a.m., it takes the three taps 8 hours to fill the remaining two-thirds of the tank. So after 9 a.m., it takes the three taps 8 hours to fill the remaining two-thirds of the tank. Therefore, in order to get the time that the tank would be fully filled up, we'll have to add 8 hours to 9 a.m., and that is 9 a.m. plus 8 hours. This should give us 5 p.m. So this is the time that the tank would be fully filled up. And with this, we mark the end of the solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.